Hello. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how these hydraulic pumps work. How you can put such a small amount of energy in but get so much power out of them. And they basically run on Pascal's principle. Right here you can see a big truck and up underneath it has these large pistons that are able to lift such massive loads full of rock and whatever it is. You know, how do they do it? Well, Pascal's principle is basically saying that when you push in on a fluid, as long as there's no air or anywhere in, in there, if it's a closed system and it's just completely full of fluid, that force that you push in will go equally in all directions within that fluid. So that's really what they're using. They took that principle and they've turned it into these really big machines and they can lift big heavy things. So let me just show you this picture over here. This is uh, what they kind of look like. You have a small piston and you have a large piston. The small piston is your input force. The large piston will become your output force. And that small piston, let's just pushing in it. Let's just say it's pushing in with the power of one. There's one arrow. So there's pushing out the power of one. And as we said in Pascal's principle, that force goes everywhere. So it's heading to the left. It's heading to the right. It's heading back down. That's going in all directions. But you'll notice this second piston is larger. This is a, has more surface area, and in this case, in this picture, it has four times more surface area than this one. And so because that force has four times more area to push on, it's like you're pushing on it four times as hard. So I push in over here on the fluid with a power of one, but out here it's pushing with a power of four. It multiplies my force by four. So the mechanical advantage of this machine would be four because the large piston is four times bigger. So you could just you could easily calculate it like that. And so this is basically a very simple explanation of how these systems work. They also work in your cars. That's how the, the pistons and the brake fluid and all those kinds of things. Unless you have disc brakes, but that's kind of still based on the same principle uh, of how your cars stop and these big machines that you see running around, how, how, how they're able to have a small engine but yet create so much power is basically a very simple concept of using Pascal's principle of force traveling through a fluid equally in all directions. The only thing to note here would be that because this area is bigger, you will have to get this piston to go further. You will have to push it further to get a same amount of distance out of this. When you push in with a force of one, you get a force of four out. Uh, it won't move very much. It'll go, yes, four times more of the force, but it won't travel very far. So to get this second piston to go further, you'll have to almost like double or quadruple the distance that you push this piston. It's hard to see in this picture, but just keep that in mind as you're doing your homework and reading through these problems.